I pin tabs in Safari all the time. I have I have about five or six tabs pinned, meaning they are they live on the the left of my Safari URL bar on all of my Macs. Uh, it's great, and the rightmost one remains the same. The leftmost one remains the same. In fact, they all remain the same except w- two of them are dynamic in that they are the current episode of Mac Geek Gab, the the prepped uh, you know the the agenda in progress and the next episode of Mac Geek Gab. Uh, of course, after we record this, it becomes current and past for a few days until I roll it all around. And it's a new document. We use Google Docs to do this. Currently, we could use anything, but that we use Google Docs. And uh, and so I, it, it means that I have to constantly drag the new one in. Like this morning, I created 916, and I needed to pull that in as I pulled 914 out. And what I usually do is I go up, I right-click on the tab for 916, and I say pin this tab, and then it puts it as the rightmost tab, but I don't want it to be the rightmost tab, so I drag it one to the left, and then everything's fine. And today, instead of doing that two-step process, I attempted a one-step process. I just grabbed the tab and moved it into the realm of pinned tabs, and it pinned it, and it put it right where I want. So the the pinning happened automatically by dragging the tab into the the mix of other pinned tabs. So I didn't need to tell it to pin it. It... It, inf- it inferred that correctly by me putting it over there, which is great. So it saves me a step. It's one step a week, guys. 52 steps a year. Right.